Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Now in my last two videos, I did a cue action analysis of my own cue action. So it was from the side on view and then from the back view showing how the grip was working. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at Jack Lazowski's cue action. So some good shots here of how Jack hits the balls. One of the best players in the world now improving all the time. So we're gonna have a good look at exactly what Jack's doing and how his cue action works. If you do enjoy these videos, remember to give the video a like. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. That just really helps me to keep all this content coming regularly. So let's get into this video and have a look at Jack Lazowski's cue action. Hi everyone, back with another video. And in this one, we've got a good look at Jack Lazowski's cue action. So Jack Lazowski, fantastic timer of the ball, hits the ball really, really well. And these views that we've got here where we can see side on, always great for us snooker players so that we can have a look at the technique and see exactly what Jack is doing. So let's have a look at Jack here. So just like we always talk about, he's standing behind the shot here and then he's already pretty close to the shot. So he just does a little movement with his left foot. So he does a little movement with his left foot and then plants the right foot because Jack's a, a left-handed player. And this is what I'm always talking about as well. I did this on a recent video analysis of, of my own cue action. Jack's hand is going to hit the table and then it's going to slide forward into position. So he slides forward until he's got everything where he wants it. And you can see that it doesn't really move the tip that much. So Jack didn't really move the tip a lot until he'd got his hand into position and then he starts to do you know, you can see a couple of his his waggles with his, his feathers starting to happen. So if we just look at Jack's address position there, so you see exactly like we're always talking about with players, that this leg is pretty straight. So that's his left leg. The right leg has got a bend in it. So that's pretty much exactly how you'd want things, nice and textbook. This arm is nice and vertical at the back, and then that ends up giving you... Let's see if I just delete that. That ends up giving you this nice kind of to the white and then you get this nice triangle effect with the with the setup so Jack's got everything as neat and tidy as we would want it there and then you see Jack does a couple of his feathers let's actually watch him play this shot so let's let him play one so he does his feathers up hits the shot and that was a good shot there so let's just take that back and there's a few important things to have a look at now with Jack's action so one of them is that you may have noticed that when he plays this shot, so when he actually delivers the cue, can you see the way the cue has actually come up off the bridge hand? So it's it's gone up in the air, hasn't it? Actually come off the bridge hand altogether. Now, there's a couple of reasons for that. One is that Jack is somebody that drops the elbow. So if we were to look here, watch the way that Jack's elbow, when he delivers it, drops down, doesn't it? It drops down into where I've just put that circle. So Jack does that because he's getting through the ball nicely. We always talk about the hand going all the way to the chest. So you can see that Jack's hand has come all the way forward and into his chest on delivery. And then the other thing Jack's doing is keeping that grip nice and relaxed. You can actually see that it looks like the first finger on the, the um, cue here, the index finger, has actually relaxed and come off the cue. So that just makes sure that Jack is keeping all that tension off the grip hand. You can easily throw the cue offline if you've got that tension. And then the reason the cue has come off the bridge hand is he's using a little bit of power there. He was just playing a shot where, if we were to watch the, the reds, he's screwing off another red. So if we watch what the actual white ball is doing, it's just knocking onto that other red look and screwing off, so he's just getting through the ball nicely. Now, when I always talk about elbow drop, so if we have a look here, let's go back to the delivery. So if we go back to, so there's a couple of important things again. So this is Jack in the address position here. So like I say, this is pretty much vertical at the back. Jack's tip is all the way at the cue ball, so that's excellent before he starts his backswing. Now, obviously, all of these things you would expect. Jack is now one of the absolute best players in the world. Really, really good timer of the ball. And you see that Jack here uses a, a full length backswing. So he's going to bring the cue all the way back to his V. So the cue comes all the way back. Now he's done two things. So like I say, the cue has come all the way back to the V. So he's got a long runway now to accelerate the cue nice and smoothly. 
And then this hand you can see has opened all the way up at the back. So he's let the fingers relax off the cue so that the cue can stay nice and flat. The other thing you'll see is that he also, if we just draw a line at the top of the elbow, he just lets the elbow just relax a little bit. So can you see that, the way the elbow, the elbow has come down slightly? So we see that, don't we, the way the elbow has dropped down this way. And that just keeps the cue nice and flat all the way through the backswing. So the two things that are helping that is Jack's slight relaxing of the elbow on the backswing and the grip hand that we see there as well. So now that gives Jack a nice amount of room to build the speed of the cue up nice and smoothly. So the first part will be nice and smooth and then he starts to accelerate and all the way through the ball. So that gives him a lovely nice runway to keep the cue nice and flat and get the cue up to speed without having to accelerate the muscles too quickly which we, which can introduce tension into the body. So very nice control there. And then the last thing we want to look at is this elbow drop. So it does a full backswing. Now let's watch where the elbow actually drops. So you can see Jack has hit the white. So you see now the white has started to move, hasn't it, in that frame there. The white has started to move. The elbow has still not started to drop, so it's still high. And then after the shot, now you see it's dropped down, don't you? So you can just rewind it a couple of frames. Now it's dropping down after the white has been hit. And then obviously we see that rising of the cue off the bridge hand because he's just keeping that tension low here and letting the cue go right the way through the white. So when we talk about going through the white, obviously I say that a lot, you can't do that in reality, but what's actually happening here is if we make a mark where the white actually is, so this is where Jack would be aiming here, and then look at the amount of follow-through length there. So a lot of follow-through length. So an excellent smooth delivery there, great example of how one of the very, very best players in the world now controls the cue on delivery. Let's have a look at this from a slightly different angle now. So this is a slightly different angle, so we'll just see things a bit differently here. So again, let's have a look at some of the key things. One is that, obviously, difficult here for Jack to get into the normal way of walking into a shot because he's coming at the shot sideways and the, the table is in the way here. But we'll see again exactly the same thing that the hand hits the table, so you see that the hand has hit the table, and then you're sliding forward into the shot. So you can see that nice slide into the shot, and then the chin settles down on the cue, and you can see that everything now is in this nice textbook address position. So we've got a nice vertical arm, the tip is at the cue ball before Jack's going to start those feathers. Nice conventional grip. So one of the things I'm looking at with grips is that the wrist, for most players, turns out very slightly like that. You can see the knuckles pointing out slightly. That just puts the wrist, the wrist joint in a neutral position. So that keeps everything nice and stable when we deliver the cue. And then we see, let's just watch this shot being played again. So let's just watch the shot being played. So a nice back swing, deliver right through the shot. So if we rewind that and have a look at a, a couple of interesting things again. So you see that when the feathers are happening, so there's a, a couple of little feathers there on the cue. And we see, yep, yeah, we see that nice bit of preparation. So there's a little bit of a feather and you can see that when Jack brings the cue back, you can see that the, the fingers release off the cue a little bit just to keep the cue nice and flat again. And then we see the same few things from this angle here that when this cue now comes back, got a nice backswing, and now we really see the, the hand has opened up, the fingers have remained in contact with the cue, but nice and relaxed. And now if we just quickly go backwards a second, we see again the position of the elbow here. So the position of the elbow, it drops a little bit on the backswing like that, to keep the cue nice and flat. So you're always trying to keep this as flat as we can, this cue. We don't want it to start rising up in the air like that on the backswing. We try and keep it along this line here nice and flat. 
So that remained nice and loose. That's a, that hand has opened right up. And then again we see the delivery happens. Lovely smooth start to delivery. You can see as I skip frames here. So as I do these first few frames you can see that the delivery is starting to build up speed. And then it goes right through the ball. So he's got a nice jack there. has got lovely control to the first part of that delivery really controlling the queue and keeping everything nice and under control so let's just have a look at the last little thing here so again we see when the shot is actually played we see the elbow drops doesn't it so it's dropped a lot from its original position so again and what we see is if we just make a mark where this elbow is which is there so we see that just as Jack is striking the cue ball, the cue ball is now gone. The cue ball is starting to move. And now there's that relaxing of the shoulder and the, and the elbow dropping down. That's happening. So this movement is happening after the cue ball has been hit. And it's just not all players do this. So... Jack is someone that lets the elbow relax. Ronnie O'Sullivan does it. Sean Murphy does it. There's lots of players. So like Judd Trump, he doesn't let the elbow relax. Uh, Neil Robertson keeps the elbow high. So this is another one where the cue has just remained nice and flat right through the ball. Again, so it's a nice follow-through. Difficult to look at the exact follow-through length from a, a side-on view like this. And then the very last thing to look at about Jack's technique, which is incredibly impressive. I was watching a break that Jack made a, um, a few weeks ago in one of the qualifying tournaments. And it was it was shot by shot and edited video. And you could just see how still Jack's head is on every single shot that he plays. So if I try and... So if I just put a line just at the top here. So at the head there. And then we just play this at one eighth speed. You see, absolutely no movement of that head at all. Just the arm moving. No movement of the head to see what's going on. So, as always, everybody, I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, remember to give it a like. If you're new to this channel and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. That just really helps me to keep all these videos coming regularly. Now, for anyone that's interested in any personal one-to-one -one coaching sessions, I'm working on this very table, helping players to improve their game all the time. So feel free to get in touch with me. All my details are in the description box below. You see my email, contact me on WhatsApp, and I'd love to help you to improve your game. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video, everybody. Cheers.